Uh, my name is Greg, and this is my dog Cooper. I mean, we've got the one Cooper's Park here. Um, there's also George Weyburn, but that's not an off-leash area, but most people do have their dogs off-leash there. In regards to the off-leash areas, I think there could be more. There's the one past the Burrard Street Bridge, which is just that little patch of sand there. But other than that, when Cooper and I go to the park, I actually drive to Strathcona. And there's a big grassy area there, and that's where I let him off the leash. There's dogs there in the morning, and that's where he gets his park time. I like seeing the dogs run free. I, I like dogs, I just can't have one right now. And I think it's a great idea to have specific places for dogs to just play around with other dogs. Maybe the issue is that some dogs just um, are not trained properly and then are just running away. In this specific area, there have been some incidents with bicycles and also with dogs colliding. And so there have been two dogs so far, to my knowledge, that have had either instant, like they've instantly passed away or that had to be put down. So. It's something that the bylaw enforcement and people are going to have to start cracking down on if they want to see changes happen. You have to take care of it, you have to clean up after it, and you have to make sure that it's uh, obeying the rules and not bothering others while they're out there trying to enjoy the same activities you are. I heard they planned on doing fencing, but I'm not sure if it's actually still in the works or not. None of that is cheap, is it? It's always a problem of how much it costs. Uh, well, yeah, but when it starts costing dogs lives and potentially major injury to a cyclist or a, a, a skateboarder or a rollerblader or a young child on a cycle, you know, on a bicycle, I mean, you've you know, it's, it's pretty expensive when it, people's lives are, it's, you know, they break an arm and they're out of work and, you know, that's, that can happen.